So this will be the future of children's eyeglasses. You're nearsighted and your child is nearsighted. And when you were younger, you wondered, is there anything that I can do to slow this down? But no solutions were given. But that's not true anymore. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about a lens that could literally save your child's vision. So here's what's crazy. Having a high prescription is not a lot of fun, but that's not the worst part. The worst part is that you're becoming more nearsighted because your eyeball is getting longer. And that's stretching the very delicate tissue inside your eye, putting you at risk for eye diseases like glaucoma, retinal detachments, and myopic maculopathy. So this lens that I'm going to tell you about in a moment can slow down your child's prescription by up to 67%. But before I tell you about that, let me tell you why your child is becoming more nearsighted. So it's called peripheral defocus theory, which basically means your eyeball is trying to grow longer to keep things in focus. So you see, standard lenses, they put things in focus on a very flat plane. I want you to think like a projector projecting against a flat projector screen. Well, the problem is the inside of your eye, the inside of the retina is not flat. It's curved. The retina is curved. And so think of the projector screen being curved and think your projector can't get that all focused on the screen at the same time. So a standard lens for myopia or nearsightedness, it puts things in focus on the retina right at the back of the eye so you can see. But in the peripheral part of the retina, the image is actually focused behind the retina. And so that sends a signal to the eyeball to say, hey, we need to grow longer to catch up to where that image is focused. Now, myopia management spectacle lenses, they're different because they also focus things at the back of the eye in your central vision perfectly. But in the peripheral part of the retina, instead of focusing the, Im the image behind the retina, they focus the image in front of the retina, thereby removing the signal to tell the eye to grow longer. So I'm going to tell you the bad thing about this lens and two bonus features in just a moment. But first, let's talk specifically about this lens called Stellist. And if you look at it, it looks like a standard lens, unless you look very, very carefully. And if you look carefully at the lens, so what you'll see is that there's a clear nine millimeter zone. And then surrounding that clear zone are 11 rings. And those rings are made up of very, very tiny lenslets. And those lenslets sit one beside each other and they're called highly aspheric lenslets. And they're about 1.12 millimeters in diameter. And there's a total of 1,021 lenslets on the whole Stellus lens. So those lenslets will have variable powers that will create a volume of defocus in front of the retina, which is a great stimulus to prevent the eye from growing longer. Now, as far as the parameters of this lens, this lens is available in a huge range of prescriptions, going from Plano all the way up to minus 10, and it corrects up to four diopters of astigmatism. The material that it's made in is Essler's airwear material, which is perfect for kids because it's virtually indestructible and it's a 100% UV protection, providing a really safe lens for your kids. And it comes with Essler's toughest kids anti-reflection and scratch coating called Crizel Rock. And it's also available in a sunglass. So how well does this lens even work? Well, there's a study where kids have been using this lens for five years and they're getting phenomenal results. Now, if you like to search up research studies, you're not going to find any journal or research studies that say the Stellus lens. Rather, it's referred to by the technology in the Stellus lens, which is called highly aspheric lenslet technology. Otherwise, it's used the acronym of HAL or HALT. So for the kids that wore this lens full time for five years, they found that the kids that wore the Stellus lens, their eyeball only grew by 0.13 millimeters each year. As opposed to the kids that were in the single vision lens, their eyeball grew by 0.25 millimeters every single year. Now, I know those numbers sound super small and they don't mean much to you, but let's talk about what happened to the kids' prescription because that's a little bit more familiar. So the kids that were in the Stellus lens, their prescription changed by less than 0.25 diopters each year. And for reference, 0.25 diopters is the smallest change that we can make in a glasses prescription. Now, conversely, the kids that were in the single vision lens, their prescription changed by more than double. It changed by 0.6 diopters every single year. And so those numbers can really add up over time. So over 10 years, that could mean that your child's prescription could end up being 
either minus 7 if they're in a standard single vision lens or minus 350 in the stellus lens. And that makes a huge difference as an adult, both from a functional point of view and having eye prescription, but also for reducing the risk for future eye disease. So I mentioned that there's a couple bonuses and one downside to the lens. Now the downside to this lens is technology costs money. So the Stellus lens is going to be a much more expensive lens than a standard single vision lens. And this lens is going to have to be fit by a professional and your child is going to need to be monitored every three to six months. So you have to think of this lens as an investment in your child's future vision. Now the two good things about this lens is number one, there's a guarantee on this lens. So this lens works so well that Essler guarantees that if the child's prescription changes by more than 0.5 diopters in a year, they will change that lens for free. And the crazy thing is we hardly ever have to use that guarantee. And now the other bonus is because your child's prescription isn't changing very often, you don't have to change glasses as often. Kids in single vision lenses, it's not unusual that they're changing their glasses every single year. And they have the expense of the frame, expense of the lens every single year. I have kids that are in the Stellus lens that they're not changing this lens until they outgo the frame or they break the frame. It might be two or three years that they might go before they actually have to change the prescription. Now, the great news is that spectacle lenses are not the only option for myopia management or slowing down myopia. There's also some options in contact lenses. And if you want to learn a little bit about those, then you should be watching this video right up here.